Here's how to fix a problem was detected with the true death camera and your face ID has been disabled. Now, if you get this error message when you go in to use your face ID to unlock your phone or to buy things or just change it, I'll show you how to fix it. But first hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now it might pop up with an error that looks like this. You can see under face ID and passcode at the very top, it says a problem was detected with the true depth camera. The face ID has been disabled. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the true depth camera is at the very top of your phone. So you can see that little, what they call the pill cutout, that little black cutout at the very top. That is where the true depth camera is that will use your face ID to unlock your phone. The very first thing that I would recommend doing is taking the case off of your phone. And if you have a screen protector, removing that screen protector. Now, keep in mind, those screen protectors sometimes can get all gunked up or maybe cracked and cause issues with that true depth camera. So remove the screen protector and take a little cloth and just clean the very top of your iPhone screen. So right around where that true depth camera is, just clean it and make sure it's no physical obstruction that's causing that camera to basically just not be able to scan your face. The next thing that I would recommend doing is heading into your settings here tapping on general and software update. Just check to see if there's a software update. Sometimes software updates, iOS operating systems can fix bugs or glitches, including with that true depth camera. Now, after we've done that, the next thing you can do is go back here and go to the very bottom and we're gonna hit shut down at the very bottom. You'd be surprised how many times just turning off your phone and rebooting the iOS operating system it could have been up and running for days or weeks or months without a proper restart. So just hit shut down and restart your phone. After we've done that, we're gonna hit transfer or reset iPhone here, and we're gonna choose reset, and we're gonna choose the reset all settings. So enter in the passcode here and reset all the settings on your iPhone back to the factory default including all those with the face ID and passcode to see if that fixes and allows you to use that true depth camera to unlock things and pay for things. Now, after we've done that, let's just go back here and we will scroll down to face ID and passcode. You have to enter in the passcode for your phone here. But once we've done that, you can see towards the bottom here, if it allows you to tap reset face ID, just tap that red reset face ID button Essentially, by doing so, it will turn it off and then allow you to set up a new face ID. So hit set up face ID and get started. And now you'll be able to see all I need to do is take my head and kind of move it around like this. And just like that, basically, it set up a new face ID to scan my face. Sometimes there's issues or corruptions with the old face ID that's associated with your phone. Now, if you go through all these steps and it's still not working, there might be a hardware issue with that true depth camera. So I would recommend taking it into an Apple store. They'll plug it in and run some diagnostics to see if there's an issue with that specific camera at the very top. And they might either replace the camera or maybe replace your iPhone with a completely new one. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.